Hello everyone, this is Valreen Hair. Now I have a neat DIY garden idea that I want to share with you and yes, you're looking at it. I actually use a couple small trellises, bamboo stakes and some nylon twine to make a support for my bee bombs and other plants that I have along this pathway here because initially I had some trellis there but the trellis were not enough to keep them from falling over so I figure oh I don't want to get any more trellises I just want something that's neat and I slept on it last night and this morning I came out and I got at it I put the idea together and I like it very much plus it adds um, it just adds something to the garden so basically what I did was to get some as I said bamboo stakes I actually bought these bamboo stakes to stake my tomatoes so I guess I may have to get some more bamboo stakes anyways I use one of these heavy duty wire small trellis and I put one at this end then I put one at the other end way down there because what happened is because the bamboo stakes are not very thick I didn't want to just take them by themselves and then when I pull the string on it, it pulled them out of the ground. So I use the trellis, I put the trellis into the ground all the way down and then I basically just wove the bamboo stake through the trellis and at the bottom I made sure that the stake actually went in front of the last bar that's at the bottom of the trellis and then I push it down into the ground in maybe about hmm, eight or so inches down you want to get a good grip so that it stays in when you pull on it plus the trellis will help to support it and then as I said there is one at the bottom I have some bricks at the base here so I just count the bricks off in order to know where I wanted to put the next bamboo stake so that's number two what I did was I counted off eight bricks each time and it just so happened that that worked out for me and then there's another one here so that's a third one fourth one fifth one sixth one and this is where I wove the bamboo stake again through the trellis okay and this one is also at least eight inches down okay after I did that I measured out how much cord I needed this cord, cord is actually nylon I picked them up at my hardware store not knowing what I was gonna do with them but if you're creative if you're always doing design and decorating in the house making creative stuff then usually if you see something like that at a good price then go for it right so that's what I did and I use them to make the support for my bee bombs and other plants check out that hummingbird well, I'm gonna zoom in can you see the hummingbird? It's right there by the bee bomb. They love the bee bomb. Okay, anyways, that's a side note for that hummingbird visit. They are here every day. Like sometimes there are like two of them playing like they're playing together. Anyways, what I did next was measure out how, many, how much cord I would need to get all the way down to the other end. Then I tied... Here on the bamboo, top and bottom, two strands were enough to do the job. And then for each of the bamboo stake, I basically twist the rope around tightly. Twist the rope and then I went on to the next. So I did the top and then I did the bottom. Or you could do the bottom and then do the top. It doesn't matter. But just twist the cord uh, around the bamboo and depending on 
the space that you have, you will decide how much or how many bamboo stakes that you would need. But it's probably about six feet in between each stake. And basically, I just went on all the way to the end here. And then I made sure that it was pretty taut. And then I just tied it onto the end bamboo here. And I think that makes for good support for my flowers. Plus, I like that um, look that it gives to this area here along the pathway. It, that white horizontal line actually contrasts with the colors of the flowers. And I can't stop smiling because I think... It looks so good. So if you have a pathway or flowers somewhere in a space that you want to support, maybe this idea could work for you. Give it a try. And the hummingbird is back. Now, thanks so much for watching my videos, for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and tell somebody about my channel hit the notification button if you haven't no hit that bell already and so that you can be notified of new videos until i see you again you take care now as i always like to say there is no us without you so thanks so much for your support